Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome to the channel. If you're a new, be sure to subscribe. We're gonna go ahead and do a few more games for RTA. So, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and work on our drafts. I did gear my Lua and ungeared my Ning Ning, so that way we can try to get away picking her or with picking her. So, we'll see how well that works for us. I'm trying to flex my drafts to be more cleave oriented while being an aggro player. So, we'll see how this works. So, ideally, here we don't even ban the lua we actually ban the conch Lilius and then hopefully draft the lua we'll go ahead and do that and then from here what we're gonna do is if they don't pick lua we pick her along with the mid and that we have our openers so pretty much here what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and first pick lua and we're gonna first second pick the mid so we already have our openers set to go now from here we have to just kind of play into our draft and see what they do if they do pivot, we have to pivot, but we only have three spaces to pivot if they try to cleave, right? Um, my Lua does have... Okay, they took Airplot Krabi here. That's awkward. I think I can one-shot her, though, so it shouldn't be the big big deal. Um, Mercedes. So I kind of like the idea of Kisei here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and pick Kisei. And... I think we'll just take the Aiden. Aiden should be pretty solid here. Aiden's a good anchor pick. I'm here. And then our last pick is going to probably be something that's a must ban. So we'll see what happens. Politus, level 46 Politus. And then they went Spectre to Nebria. So let's give them, uh, we'll give them a must ban. Something that is annoying to fight and will slow them down. So we'll go ahead and do this. Uh, we do need to ban the poly though, because the, even though she's level 40, I could just probably one shot her. Um, she's level 46. I feel like her impact won't be that bad, but her setback alone is annoying. It's her S2 that's really like, meh. Oh, she's not even geared. We have two non-attack skills, we kind of have to. They're not going to ban out my um, a mid. That's interesting. They're going to take the L on the book. Okay. Uh, we should be able to kill Apoc here before she gets a turn. Alright. So let's go ahead and get this started. S2. So we're going to go ahead and hook up our girl Kisei with a uh, buff. Hopefully we get the damage. Got it, nice. And now we're gonna S3 into the APOC, hopefully resetting her, and then go into our AOE. If we do the reset, which is huge. We have Noli, it's okay. And now we pop the S2. I'm gonna go ahead and just pop S3 and kill everything here. She's provoked, so she's literally useless. So what we're going to do is just kill the Mercedes. We'll save the S1 burn for Kisei. And that's game. Yeah, I, I only banned the Politus here because I felt like it was the best thing to do. Um, even though she wasn't leveled, had no threat. But realistically, if that was a real poly, you would have banned the poly anyway. So that was good. Uh, let's try to find an actual player. We're not getting first pick, unfortunately. Oh, they banned Lua. Okay. Uh, I think we still try to use a mid because she's so powerful. 
But we can also just draft an anchor, or not an anchor, a mitt, just in case. Because, like, her value is still there. She still gives us the moly, she still gives us the attack bonus, and the uh, chance for critical damage buff. So it's overall probably worth it. Um, we can one-shot that Giselle, actually. So we're going to go ahead and pick up the Giselle here. And on top of it, we might as well just go ahead and grab the Spectre Denebria. Milum doesn't affect us here. She can't target Giselle. And then I think we just ban last. We'll probably grab another bridge like Landy. Oh, Landy wouldn't be good here. Yeah, we'll ban last. We'll just grab another bridge. Um, so like Sahak, and then we just ban out the Ramaru. Okay, they're banning my mid, which kind of sucks. But we still one-shot the Arya, I imagine. Resist as much as you can. So what we'll do here is, we're like this. I'm actually gonna throw, oops. I'm gonna throw my unit into the Destina, and then one shot her and hopefully one shot the Arya. So this should one shot Arya, no problem. And then we S1 and 2 the revive. Now their only damage dealer is Millum, but she can't reach Steny, so therefore we just kind of win. That's fine. Let's just go for the stun. And then we just throw the S1 at you. Or I screen to you, please. I'll finish this soon. Hopefully we can strip this. Nice. And then we should be able to kill both here, hopefully. And we're winning! We'll do one more game, and then that will be it. Alright. We haven't got first pick at all, that's crazy. Uh, we'll go ahead and stick with our plan, which is just ban the Conch Lilius and get ready to prep for the Lua pick. Now nah, they shouldn't contest it, leave because we have two openers, but they might try to Zio or something. I gotta prep for Zahawk pick, I think. Well, they've had Zahawk, so we just gotta prep to fight that. Angel of Light, we're going single target a anyway, so it doesn't matter. So, uh, let's go ahead and just grab Apoc Ravi here or something. No, because Apoc's weak into Aiden, so let's just grab Spectre Tenebria and then we'll grab our. Uh, we're, we'll grab the Giselle here. For our last pick, we should just probably pick a Pakaravi if they don't pick anything insanely broken. So Rem, not an issue with Giselle on the field. Uh, what else think of it? We could also pick Kisei and force them to ban one of our damage dealers. T Surin. So let's go ahead and just grab Kisei. I'm, I'm assuming this Angel of Light should not be fast for us, so we'll just ban the T-Cern here. And then they ban either Kisei or Giselle. No, they're banning my um, initial opener, but we do have Lua still, so that should be okay. Lua should reset their full team. Since we have a book, that will help us a lot. You have no value to me. 
All right, so let's go ahead and get this going. So what we're going to do is actually try, we can't actually uh, uh, sleep this unit. I think she's immune to sleep or is it immune to stun? Um, let's just, let's just hit her. That way she doesn't cut us. Okay. We're gonna soul burn this and attempt to strip everything. Easy. So let's go ahead and just do this the smart way. We're going to uh, kill the rem or attempt to kill the rem. Who's got their ultimates? I don't think anyone does, which is really good for us. That's unfortunate. Here we'll go like this. Rem's got an uh, attack coming up, but we're going to S3 into this. Hopefully we don't get countered here. Ah, uh, that sucks. They don't reach Denny, thankfully, so that's really nice for us. Let's just go ahead and, uh, we're gonna get Angel of Light on us, so that's gonna suck. So let's just go ahead and, uh, proc this. There we go. I think we're okay if they don't reach any. This is gonna hurt though. It's gonna come down to Stenny actually hitting the Aiden. If we don't hit, we lose. You wanna hit? Oh, I think we can survive one more turn. We're, we're at one more. Uh, we're on a one more turn cooldown. We'll play this. Defense break. It's fine. I think we can still win if we just hit. What, she cut? <sighs> well, it is what it is. Aiden's really a dumb unit. It is what it is. We didn't hit her. I could have probably tried to key save her, but I didn't have anyone to hit. It, it's fine. Uh, we win some, we lose some. We got to play Lua and do our comp. Uh, seven and two, so we have one more game left. That's not too bad, honestly. It could have been worse. So that's going to be it for today's video. Um, still working out, you know, the tweaks of the of my team comps. Uh, we do have Lua geared, but she does get banned quite a lot. Uh, the idea is to draft Lua with Aiden, so we have two openers, and then try to base our comp around that. I couldn't go APOC there, even though I wanted to, because Aiden just kind of ruins APOC. And... I don't know if I could have played that better, honestly. Because we killed the Rim, which was fine, but we couldn't hit the Aiden. We missed off Kisei's S2, we missed off Sandy's S1. What are you gonna do about it, right? You just kind of lose if you can't hit Aiden. So, um, it is what it is. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll talk to you later. Peace.